OMG, how's it going guys? I'm here to give you a little bit uh, taste of something different today. Uh, I'm outside of Western Australia on Rottnest Island, which is like 30 minutes out of Perth, which is the most populated city in Western Australia. We're at like 2.1 million people in the metro area. Western Australia is like 2.6 million complete. Uh, but this is a little isolated place, 30 minute boat ride. And we're gonna give you a little quick history of this, of this little uh, place. It's got deep Aborigine history, penal colony, former penal colony. Uh, a lot of stuff to cover here. You know, I'm gonna try to cover as much as we can. Also famous with quokkas. That's probably the biggest thing, and I'll tell you that in a, in a bit. Lucy, how are you doing? Great. Good. I'm glad to hear that. It's great to have you here, as always. Uh, Thank you. Guys, please check out the Patreon. Huge help. Helps fund these things. Helps uh, keep the lights on, if you will. And there's some extras on there. <laughs> all PG. Also, too, uh, what, so subscribe, like, all those things. Helps bump in the analytics ahead of all the, I don't know, Quokka selfie videos, I don't know. But uh, yeah, guys, I guess we'll get this thing started. What do you think, Lucy, should we go? Yes. Let's do it. Well, I'm here actually at the basin. This is a part of Rottnest uh, Island that was actually, they say, where uh, Willem de Vlemming, a uh, Dutch dude, uh, actually anchored off here in 1696 and then came, uh, came ashore Explored the place, and he's the one who chose to give the, give this place the, the name of Island de Rotnest, which means a uh, rat rat nest island. Uh, I guess he'd never been to Manhattan before, right, Lucy? Yep. Uh, it's a rat island. Yeah, no, I get it. Okay. Anyways, he, he thought they, the quokkas that are all here thought, he thought they were rats. So uh, you know uh, that's why he gave it the name. Uh, he actually said it was one of the most pleasurable. Uh, islands he'd ever been to, uh, which is pretty cool. It's uh, you know very beautiful. There's over uh, 63 beaches here and uh, 20 bays all around this little tiny island, which is like you know 11 kilometers long. It's not that big, uh, so pretty awesome. This is the basin, so just a little part. We're gonna keep bouncing around though. I just wanted to show you little parts as we go. Lucy, ready to keep biking around? Oh, yes. Let's bike, baby. So I'm here in front of the, one of the many salt lakes that uh, Rottnest Island has. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, actually, in the summer, they used to actually uh, wait till it dry. The water would evaporate and reveal a ton of salt, and they would actually sell it to the mainland. So that was one of the ways that they actually made this a uh, working kind of uh, island. Anyways, they, saw, they stored the salt over near where we got uh, off the boat. Uh, there's like a little st storehouse there that's now, uh, I think it's like a museum or something like that. But... Uh, pretty cool. You see the little lighthouse over there, some ducks and stuff. And over here to the right, you see the wind turbine. They actually have like 50% uh, of the energy of the island is made here on the island. Uh, I think a half of that half, so a quarter of it is made from that wind turbine. And then they actually have a solar panel farm here as well. Pretty cool. A pretty cool little place. All right, we got to keep moving, right, Loopy? That's right. All right, let's do it. So now I'm actually in front of what used to be the quad, which was kind of the main part of the prison that inhabited this island from 1838 to 1931. That has been the biggest part of this island's history. It's pretty dark because this was a, specifically an Aboriginal prison. So Aborigines that were captured all over the country were sent here to Western Australia and specifically here to Rottnest Island to basically you know, serve out their sentences and one in 10 actually died here on the island. Uh, so we're talking like over 3,700 Aborigines from those years actually stayed here on Rottnest Island as prisoners. And they were capturing people for the most minor offenses, including, uh, you know, just capturing and, and arresting uh, elders and leaders to kind of just throw the entire Aborigines and their different tribes into disarray. And they would just come here in awful, terrible conditions. But it still serves as a reminder of the dark history of Australia and how they treated the Aborigines and how the settlement of Australia and the growth of the country itself uh, was tied directly to the actual decrease and, uh, and persecution of the Aborigines uh, who, who lived in Australia before. Uh, important note also too that this island was inhabited by Aborigines up until about 7,000 years ago when the land bridge between the mainland and this area actually was submerged underwater at the end of the Ice Age. So uh, it, was, it was uninhabited, this island actually, when the explorers and people started settling here. But, uh, but obviously Australia was thickly uh, inhabited by Aborigines. In fact, in 2008, I believe, Australia had a national uh, apology. There was an apology by the government and the country of Australia to the Aborigines. And uh, I guess a recognition of what was done uh, outright to, uh, to those people. 
uh, the, first, the first nation, the first people of uh, Australia. So it's important to note too that it was the uh, Aboriginal prisoners and convicts who actually built most of the uh, buildings on this island out of limestone actually, which was actually found here on the island. Um, so the crew's quarters, the captain's quarters, all those things, the superintendent's quarters, these buildings were all built by prisoner and convict labor. Uh, which is kind of wild to think about. I mean, we're talking like 29 cells back there. They're tiny, like two by three meters, very small. And they would cram five to 10 people in these things. Uh, and in the winter, when it gets chilly, they'd have nothing but like one blanket. They would, people were dying of flu, all kinds of things. It was a total mess. And five people were hanged here as well. Kind of dark, uh, you know, but this is, the, this is the truth. This is the reality of it. I hate to break it to you, but uh, let's, let's move to something, I guess, a little bit uh, different. Uh, what do you think, Lucy? Should we keep moving to the next spot? All right, let's do it. So this is the reason so many people come to the place. This is the quokka. The quokka is actually a marsupial. It's got a little pouch that it carries its young around in. And this is uh, endemic only to Western Australia and specifically to Rottnest Island. They have like 12,000 of these things. Even though they're endangered species around the rest of the country and world, they're actually endemic here to Western Australia. And a uh, pretty crazy little animal. They became a real big hit here in 2013. Some guy took a selfie with it and posted, you know, hashtag whatever, quokka selfie, and then two years later, it'd be, after it had already gone viral or whatever, the actual uh, island started a publicity campaign. They brought like Roger Federer here and like Chris Hemsworth and they took them and then it exploded after that. That's 2015 and every year since, the island's uh, tourism has gone up 20% every single year. Pretty wild. You're not supposed to touch them or feed them, so don't worry, I'm not feeding them, but uh, they're, they're actually really friendly and, and nice and people will get down on the ground, take pictures of them and everything. But they carry around their young in the pouch, which is kind of cool. And, uh, and this is interesting, they actually have an embryo backup that's actually just there while they're raising their young. And in case a predator comes up, if a predator comes up, they literally shoot their young out at the predator so they can eat that and then basically run off. And that other embryo starts basically becoming a, a, a joey. Like, so it's like a backup, it's like a spare tire, kind of crazy. Uh, aren't they cool, Lucy? Amazing. Yeah, they're really friendly. Right, and that was it. Rat, this is why it's called Rottenest Island, because when I said at the other spot, uh, Willem Vlemming, uh, the Dutch dude, named it Rottenest Island because he thought these were all rats. But he ain't never seen no rat before. He never been on the New York City subway, baby. Those are, now those are rats. These things are way, way cuter. If, uh, well, another th reason they thrive here is because there's no, predator, no predators here. They're, on a, they're literally on a deserted island, so they don't, they don't, they're not threatened by predators. Not as many, you know, foxes and things like that, although apparently some are making their way here. Uh, and there are uh, poisonous snakes, by the way. <laughs> That's another thing. Here you go. This. Wait, was I picking up I think so. That wasn't a nut. I think that was just a turd, a dried turd. Oh, go figure. They don't like to eat their own turds. They just learned something. He's like, why is this guy giving me my own shit? Typical Americans. All right, well... Let's keep moving, right, Lucy? Yeah. All right, guys, and that was it. Pretty quick little video, covered as much as we could. Uh, quick little day, and we're actually going uh, back to the mainland here, so I uh, gotta get on the boat. You can take these little pricey, but it's worth it. Uh, I recommend it, if you can, stay here. You get to ride bikes around, do stuff like that, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, Lucy, did you learn a lot today? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we didn't just shoot this both at the same time. We didn't shoot the intro and outro at the same time. We did it uh, in chronological order. But uh, guys, before I leave, uh, please check out the Patreon. Huge help. Helps fund these things. Helps, uh, you know, improve everything. Um, yeah, some extras on there, like I said before. Um, like, subscribe if you watch more than one of these videos. I don't know what, what else to tell you. Lucy, did I miss anything? No. We got to get on that boat. We do. All right, let's go. See y'all later.